Hello, boys and girls. Back again for story time. And today I'm gonna to read you a story by one of our favorite authors, Dr. Seuss. And it's out of a book called The Sneetches and Other Stories. And the story that I wanna to read to you today is called, What Was I Scared Of? What was I scared of? Well, I was walking through the night and I saw nothing scary, for I've never been afraid of anything, not very. Then I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them, a pair of empty pale green pants with nobody inside them. I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pale green pants be standing in the air for? And then they moved those empty pants. They started kind of jumping. And I must admit, my heart, it started thumping. So I got out. I got out fast, as fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that I did not care for. No, sir. After a week went by, then one night in Greenwich, I had to run an errand to catch, fetch some Greenwich spinach. Well, I had to fetch the spinach, and I was starting back through town when those pants came racing past me and they almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach and I didn't even care. I ran for home, believe me, I had really had a scare. Now bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them, especially scary pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night I was fishing for doubt trout on Rover River when those pants came rowing towards me and I started to shiver. And by then I was so frightened and I'll tell you, but I hate to. I screamed and rode away and lost my hook and line and bait too. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my bushes, britches, but I stayed there anyways. I stayed all night, the night next, the next night too. I'd be there still, no doubt, but I had to run an errand. So the next night I went out. <clears throat> I had to do an errand, had to pick a peck of snide in a dark and gloomy snide field that was almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said, I said, I said those words, I said them, but I lied them. Then I reached inside a snide bush. And the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone and I bet that you know who. And there I was caught in the snide and in that scary place, those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled, I screamed. I shrieked, I howled, I cried. Oh, save me from these pale green pants with nobody inside. And then a strange thing happened. Why those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I'd never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. I put my arms around their waist. I sat right down beside them. I calmed them down, those empty, those empty pants with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We just both smile and say, hi. It's a fun book and it's a fun thing to remember that there's so many different people in the world and we all look different and that's a good thing because we are we're all made different but we're all made equal and we have the same value and we need to remember to always treat people with care and with love and with kindness so today i hope you have a great time with your family be good to your mom and dad make sure that you're obeying them and listening to them Love you guys. See you later.